But you can't do this to me. I started this company. You know how much I sacrificed? Okay, jokes aside, OpenAI just recently announced their new GPTs feature, which would essentially allow users to create their very own customized versions of ChatGPT. And already there are tons of people running with it as OpenAI aims to create the world's very first AI app store. Naturally, this presents you, my friend, with an awesome opportunity to make some money. Because of GPTs, it's now easier than ever to create your own customized version of ChatGPT without having to use some third party software like VoiceFlow or Bot press that has a bit more of a learning curve. Now next week I have a step-by-step -step process and tutorial coming out teaching you how you can build your very own GPT and of course at the end of this video you guys will be able to comment on which one you want me to do as well. I'll present you with some options but before we do that though it's important to decide what you're actually going to be building. Not only is it easier than ever to create your own version of GPT but there's also a massive money-making opportunity here if you're able to create something that's actually useful to people. So I wanted to go ahead and provide you guys with some ideas and some of them I'm personally executing on myself. So hopefully you can get some inspiration. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. Now, the first idea is a coaching clone for info product businesses. If you run an agency that focuses on helping info product businesses, or you just run an AI automation agency in general, this is perfect for you. Most info product businesses have what's called a value ladder. And this value ladder usually consists of different products for every single price point. The main reason for this is because while some people might be able to afford, you know, a $3,000, $4,000 coaching program, that's not really feasible for most people. So they have a lower offer that might be feasible for them just so they can get some value as well. For example, a drop shipping course, a value ladder for that might look like $0 for the lead magnet. It might be like, oh, you know, get my free PDF of winning drop shipping products. The second part might be a $27 a month drop shipping discord, whatever that might be. The next part might be a SaaS software that finds winning drop shipping products for you. Above that might be a $500, $997 course. And finally, at the very top, you have one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is usually low four figures or mid four figures as well. The main issue here is that with these lower ticket items like the Discord or the SaaS, most people still can't really justify the price or they still end up having lots of questions that go unanswered. And of course, it still requires some level of involvement from the teacher. This is where custom GPTs come in. You can essentially take all of that coach's info and compile it into different text documents and PDFs. It could be anything from their tweets, to video transcriptions from YouTube videos or YouTube shorts or course material that you can transcribe into text as well. And essentially what you can do is upload all of those text files and all those PDF files into the knowledge base on the GPT. From there, just throw in a little bit of prompting just to make it sound like them. And you essentially have an AI clone of that specific coach. Now, anytime someone has a question and the coach is busy or it's something that's urgent and the coach isn't exactly around, person can ask and interact with the chat bot that will give them factual answers because it's going to be pulling specifically from that coach's data. This is a phenomenal way to not only save a lot of time, but also a great way to provide more value to lower ticket customers who might not be able to afford something that's like one-on-one. -on -one. Idea number two is mentorship bots. This is somewhat similar to what I just discussed, but much broader in scale. If you don't run an agency and you're just kind of looking for fun ways to monetize, this might be you. Let me ask you a question. How many people do you think want to be mentored by someone like Elon Musk, Cristiano Ronaldo, though. Alex Hormozzi. I'm just going to tell you the answer. A lot of people. But these people are notoriously inaccessible and for good reason. You know, they're important people. They're super busy. They're busy making an impact on the world. Even Alex Hormozzi has been known to charge up to $50,000 for one consultation session, which is out of this world. They're busy. They don't have the time to answer the questions of everyone that wants to talk to them. But luckily, that means a massive opportunity for you. Because thankfully, we live in the era of the internet. There's tons of information that these people spew for free all over the internet and it just has to be you to compile all that information in one place. This is exactly what I did with my pocket Hormozy. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I created an AI clone of Alex Hormozy called Pocket Hormozy. I have him on Telegram and I can chat with him basically anytime I want and ask him questions. Now, of course, at the time I used BotPress and it was a little bit more complex than some people would have liked, but now with GPTs, it's literally easier than ever. The first step here is deciding who exactly you want to clone. Now, of course, you might want to go a little bit easier 
easier. If you're trying to clone Leonardo da Vinci, you might have a bit of a harder time because he didn't really live in the internet era. But essentially what you can do is compile all of their data, whether that's video transcriptions, short form video transcriptions, tweets, books, PDFs, whatever it might be. You can compile all of that data and put it into the knowledge base of your GPT. Then just with a little bit of prompting, you have your very own coach right there inside of ChatGPT just for, you know, five, ten dollars a month. People can be mentored by some of the best minds in the world. Now, idea number three is what I like to call fitness GPT. The fitness industry, in my opinion, is one of those industries that is going to benefit the most from GPTs and there are not enough people taking advantage of it, which is why you need to be approaching people who are selling fitness programs or doing personal training because this is huge. There's literally so much you can do from meal plan generation to workout generation to injury recovery, all within chat GPT itself. So currently, just to give you guys a little bit of context, this is currently something that I'm personally working working on just for my own personal life. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of calisthenics. That's how I work out most of the time. So currently I'm building my very own calisthenics coach that's modeled and trained off of some of the best calisthenics coaches in the world, Austin Dunham, fitness FAQs. I've also got it trained off of the PDF version of Overcoming Gravity, which is one of the best bodyweight exercise books out there. So you best bet that this thing is going to be insane. But it doesn't just have to be for calisthenics. This can be for fitness in general. Let's just say you're a fitness trainer and you're onboarding a client. For workout routines, you can just collect general information like their gender, their height, their weight, their current strength level, their goals, whatever it might be to formulate a well-versed plan for them. Not to mention, with actions, you can set it up with Zapier so that when someone gives that information to the GPT, you can zap it over to a Google Sheet or a CRM or whatever it is that you might be using to manage your clients as well. And the best part is the same thing goes for meal plans. You can get their gender, their dietary restrictions, any allergies they might have, and generate 6, 12, you know, 24 week meal plans for these people to reach their goals, all without having to lift your finger at all. You can offer recipes, you can offer diet hacks, basically anything under the sun. And I can guarantee you that this is something that people would be more than willing to pay for, especially if you build it well and it's good. Idea number four is a content creation assistant. And this is one of my favorites for good reason. This one is for content creators and it's something that I'm also actively creating myself as a content creator. Now there are lots of different directions that you can go with this, but I'm gonna be training mine off of hundreds upon hundreds of different swipe files that I've collected over the years of my content creation, as well as just video transcripts, uh, tweets that I've posted, basically anything that I've created in terms of content. Now, just to give you guys an idea of what pain points to hit, there are two places where I spend the most time when creating content, and those are thumbnails and hooks. Obviously, it doesn't matter how good the video is if you can't get people to watch past the first couple seconds. And when it comes to long form content like YouTube videos, it doesn't matter how great it is if people don't click on the video. Both of these are absolutely crucial factors when it comes to getting people to stick around and actually watch your content. As such, they're very, very, very important. So what you can do is train your own GPT off of great guiding principles for what makes a good hook and then use that GPT to, well, generate hooks. And the same thing goes for thumbnails. You can train it off of a swipe file of thumbnails that you've created that have a high click-through rate. And if you wanna take that a step further, you can use actions to hook it up with something like Leonardo.ai to generate thumbnail photos for you. Or if you wanna keep it inside of ChatGPT, you can just use Dali. Like I said, I'm currently building this out for myself and this would effectively take the time that I'm spending on creating content and cut it in half. Now, idea number five is an AI learning assistant. This is going to sound a little bit redundant, but hear me out. The reality is that most people, even with the simplicity of GPTs, don't really know how AI works. You know, you say artificial intelligence, you throw AI out there, and they're completely dumbfounded. If you think about it, most businesses, like 80% of businesses, don't even have cold email systems or email campaigns set up for their business, let alone figuring out how to use AI. Not only do they not know how to use AI, but they definitely don't know how to use it to their benefit, which is where something like this really comes in handy for those types of people. AI can be very intimidating, it can take a while to grasp, and not to mention for busy business owners, it's not really feasible to spend hours a day learning how to prompt engineer and doing all these things. Now, what does this entail? Well, here are some ideas. First and foremost, giving them suggestions on what they could automate inside of their business, giving them suggestions on AI tools they could use to perform specific tasks within their business, giving them a rundown on the technology behind AI, like machine learning or neural networks. It 
could even just be as simple as giving them tips and tricks or deep tutorials regarding fine tuning or prompt engineering to get the most out of AI. The list goes on and on, but I'm sure you're beginning to see how something like this might be useful to a newbie who doesn't exactly know where to start. They can ask whatever questions they might want to, and you can give them carefully curated information to ensure that they're able to get the most out of using AI rather than just trying to figure out everything on their own. I mean, hey, even to me, it's starting to sound pretty good, so definitely worth looking into. But anyways, guys, I want to reiterate that next week, I will be releasing a tutorial on how to create your very own GPT as well, integrated with Zapier Actions, the whole shebang. So if you guys want me to create any of the GPTs that I was talking about in this video that I haven't already started creating, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to see any other ideas that you guys have, and maybe I can throw them together for the next video or the video after that. These are definitely a lot of fun to make, so I'd love to make them with you guys. With that being said, guys, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more content from me, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another upload. And I will see you guys later. Peace.